My name is Marshall Moore. I'm a mortgage loan officer at Spire Financial. I got into the mortgage industry through a bit of a circuitous path, I think. I started my career as a scientist. I was a biogeochemist and certainly enjoyed being in that field. But also you realize after some time in that field that you spend about three months of the year doing very cool field work in a fun place. And then you spend about nine months of the year in a lab under a fume hood by yourself, micro pipetting samples uh, into eternity. And then you also end up writing a paper that is so technical that only a few scientists in the world end up actually reading it and finding value from it. And so I went about exploring some of my options out there and I eventually changed to become a teacher. So I taught AP chemistry at first and then switch over to teach mathematics. I had a fantastic time doing that, but my first year of teaching second semester seniors about conic sections, I just had this moment of what are we doing here? Because if you're a nerd like me, it's conic sections can be a very interesting puzzle, but also, I knew that these students were not going to use this material throughout the rest of their lives. And so I made a bit of a pivot. Um, given that they were in second semester, they had senioritis, I decided we're going to do something that will actually engage you and be useful. And so I created a financial literacy curriculum for them. Uh, and that's eventually what led me into the mortgage world. So I ran that course for six years. It became very popular. It won statewide awards through the Department of Education. Uh, and I also had other teachers who started coming into the classroom after school and saying, hey, we want to do a planning session with you as well because we need this knowledge. It doesn't get taught in school and we don't talk about it in our society, uh, at even friends to friends. We don't talk about our finances. And that's what ultimately made me realize, hey, I could do this uh, in a way where I'm actually helping adults who can take action on these financial principles right now, rather than teaching high school seniors who may be 10 years away from using some of what I was teaching. Um, so that led me into the, the mortgage world. And ultimately the reason that I'm in mortgages instead of another component of financial uh, advising is because I think that all people need a, what I like to call a home team. They need somebody who is a fantastic lender. They need a fantastic financial advisor, a CPA, an insurance person, a realtor, because our world has layers of complexity that are more complicated than just putting an item in your Google cart and selecting buy. Um, and we need trusted people who can help to make those decisions. So that's what ultimately led me to, to help adults in the mortgage world um, in this space. What I like best about being in the mortgage industry, honestly, it's the people. That is the thing that I was missing from my career as a researcher was the ability to actively talk to uh, people for the majority of my day and to actively see how much I was helping them on their life trajectory. So, um, you know, in, in the mortgage industry, sometimes people treat this world as being a little bit more transactional, as in a mortgage loan officer might only work with their client during the course of their transaction. For me, it's a much bigger picture than that. I like to follow up with, with um, my buyers long after the closing has happened and they've happily settled into their house because it's a lifetime relationship. I'm a lifetime advisor for them. And that ability to create those relationships is the thing that really is a driving factor for me. The thing that sets me apart from my competition, I think it's my accuracy. It's my ability to live in both worlds, the world of data, numbers, mathematics, which I thoroughly enjoy, but also to be able to step out from that world and to get to talk to people, to take all of that complicated data and bring it down to a level that people understand and recognize how they can actually apply that in their lives to build their wealth, to save money, and to ultimately create the, the life that they want for themselves.